All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Dogfish Head Craft Brewery, and they're out of Milton, Delaware, and this is their Costumes and Karaoke. So they are calling this one an Imperial Cream Ale that is brewed with turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, star anise, or anise, depending on how you want to say it, oats, cardamom with vanilla beans added. It comes in at 8% alcohol by volume, 30 IBUs at the time of review. This bottle is approximately five weeks old. So Dogfish Head, this is what they do. This is what they do. This is what Dogfish Head does, right? Uh, Imperial Cream Ale with seven different adjuncts, turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, star anise, oats, cardamom, vanilla beans. Like that's what they do, right? So um, I saw this one know nothing about it it was relatively fresh but when i picked it up it's five weeks old now we're still should be good and uh yeah it just sounded interesting like i've never had anything I, when i see cream ales whether they're imperial or whatever and they throw adjuncts in it or whatever they're going for i'll i'll, I'll grab some cream ales and this one just sounds like it might be awesome might be disgusting who the fuck knows now apparently they're basing this off of a, a traditional indian beverage called gold milk I've never had it. I've actually never heard about it until now. So I don't know if this is going to taste like that because I have no reference to go on. But hopefully it's a delicious 8% uh, Imperial Cream Ale with all those adjuncts. I'm hoping anyway. That's the goal. You want your beer to taste good. I mean, I want this to be delicious. That's the whole point. Anyway, let's pour it into the hashtag proper glassware. We got the uh, Dogfish Head uh, like signature glass or whatever they call it. And uh, yeah, beautiful. So throw this over here like that. And yeah, that looks like... That's a little bit, you know, when it comes to, you know, cream ales, they can look up many different colors, but that's kind of close, maybe a bit darker, maybe a little bit more orange than typical. This has the uh, etching in the bottom to produce the carbonation. I don't know if that shows it on camera, but man, is it going wild. A lot of carbonation, about a half finger of this off-white uh, colored head. And yeah, I'd say it looks like a, a cream ale, but maybe slightly darker. Let's get a nose. Yeah, turmeric for sure. I think that's what they use for... I like guess like the right curry. Uh, so yeah, definitely getting vanilla, the ginger, turmeric, ginger, and the um, and the vanilla bean screaming. A little bit of that cardamom. If you just told me this is a spiced imperial cream, I'll be like, all right, because I pick up on the cardamom, I pick up on the vanilla, I pick up on the turmeric. The, um, what was the other stuff they have in here? Oh yeah, the ginger. Turmeric, ginger, and uh, the vanilla beans, car cardamom, sure. Cinnamon and star anise, like star anise has like, like the licorice type of uh, tinge to it. Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit, but not much. I'm not getting any imperial cream ale base. There might be like a slightly multi kind of sensation to the nose, like a little bit of like this bready, crackery, caramel-esque type of, um, Nose too, but not, not as much as you'd think. The ginger is really starting to come to the forefront for me. This almost has like chai aspects to it. You know, um, I've had beers before like chai spice. This is kind of in that same realm a little bit. Anyway, it smells fucking different, strange, unique. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. I like that. I like that. Oh, the finish is nice. A lot of vanilla on the finish. The body on this one for 8% is really, really nice. Medium, a little bit over medium, like a touch over. Yeah, maybe even a little bit more. Yeah, like on the lower end of full, higher end of medium. Actually has a nice body for 8%. The mouthfeel, there's a lot of carbonation, as you may or not <laughs> may or may not be able to see, but there's a lot in that etching. It's coming through crazily, and there's a lot of carbonation, but you can't expect that from cream ale to have nice carbonation. Very smooth. Right at the forefront, I'm hit with that turmeric, the ginger, um, cinnamon. It has a spicy feel right at the tip of the tongue. Pass through the palate. The sweetness starts kicking in. The base cream ale, there's like this caramel, almost vanilla kind of mixture. Really nice. That hits me. And it's kind of <clears throat> reminding me of like those those caramel uh, candies, the chews that you get that have like the, it's it's brown with a white spot in the middle. So it, it's like caramel and vanilla. That's what I'm kind of getting in this one. That carries on throughout the palate. On the back of the end, on the back of the palate, on the end, on the finish, the cinnamon hits again and just does like this nice like semi-dry finish. 
but the vanilla kicks back in. And it's like it, the caramel and vanilla right in the middle of the palate, but then the vanilla just kind of becomes the predominant note and it finishes with this nice creamy vanilla sensation. Uh, it finishes, you know, sweeter, like I said, semi-dry sweeter. There's like a mild bitterness, but not really. It's more of a dryness from like the cinnamon and the uh, and just the beer itself and the alcohol. I'm really not getting the star anise uh, too much. The cardamom got kind of lost and the nose was a bit bigger. Um, the oats are probably just helping that body, which is why it's a nice bigger body. The mouth feels nice and smooth. It's a fucking, that's a fucking, that's a good beer. They did a good job. Like, I didn't know what to expect. I just saw it and I was like, costumes and karaoke, I never heard of that. And I looked and I was like, Imperial Cream Ale with those seven adjuncts. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to pick that up. Why not? You know why? Because this, I think a bottle of this was like less than three bucks. Uh, so we'll go to price point and availability. I'll give it a rating momentarily. Uh, availability, wherever you see Dogfish Head, you should see this one or have seen it. This was released in late... Um, I think it was bottled in late August, released in September. So you should see this one on the shelves. Uh, I think a four pack of this was $11. I paid like just under three bucks for this bottle. So um, yeah, that's a fucking good price point. This is good. I like this. I'm going to give it a high four out of five. So costumes and karaoke from Dogfish Head. High four to five will go 4.1 out of five. This is good. I thought it might be a mess based on, you know, it's the seven different adjuncts. It's an Imperial Cream Ale. 8%, I, I mean, you get, you feel a little, I feel like a little bit of warming in the chest, but not on the palate. So they hide the alcohol well as, it's just, this, this works way better than I thought it would. I really like that vanilla, like vanilla cream finish too. Hmm. Yeah, really good. So if you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. A 4.1 out of 5 is a really good score. And this is what Dogfish Head does. This is the type of stuff, you know. You know, so many places are doing crazy shit nowadays. You know, your local breweries probably doing over the top amazing stuff. Um, but Dogfish Head has always been that brewery that kind of takes a chance and does weird shit like this. And when you see it and you can grab it and it has a good price point and it's readily available, that makes me happy. And this beer is damn good. So 4.1 out of 5 for this one. And if you've had it before, let me know. Definitely let me, do, let me know what you think about it because this is a beer that I could see is very polarizing and will have a love-hate relationship. A, a lot of people will probably dislike this immensely and some people will absolutely love it. I don't know if it tastes like golden milk, but hopefully it does. Um, but regardless of whether or not it does, it just, it tastes good. And that's all I care about. So appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers.